And hello, hello everyone. My name is Kiri Vaku, and I am your host and your boy with a voice. Here to entertain you, and maybe not start yapping loud. But 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 today is uh today not today. Like this video is a little bit special. It's my weekly report on how things going for my artista cafe. Uh, it's an art cafe that people come into my stream. And then I'll draw them. Uh, they can commission me to draw art for them. Of course, the slot is limited. Uh, only when I'm doing. Once I will. Uh, once I'm free, you guys can order another one. Uh, it's functioning that way. But also at the same time, if anyone who want to do some special order that they they are like kind of like shy, they don't want to like speak it out loud and live. They say, hey, I want I want an order or like there might be some chance that. One day I will become like um, too famous, which is a dream that I ever wanted to be. <laughs> and have way too much chatter in there. Um, you guys can use this uh, method, the emote voice yash thingy, yada yada, yada stuff like that. If if you are familiar with it, if you are familiar with it, if you are not familiar with it, um, I have a VGen. If you don't know what VGen is, is technically like Fiverr or Etsy, but. Uh, specialized for VTuber. So if you go to see like uh, various different kind of people who do different kind of like art service and you can go here type emote and then you get many many different kind of emote that you can see in here. Uh, yeah if you are personally a streamer that one cutesy thing been draw or you if you are VTuber requires some resources and you are uh, willing to pay for it there's a lots of different kind of art resources you guys can come and take a look at it and that's all from the uh, promotion from the region and i have two type of um two type of ycs already been listed in here one is my uh derby chibi mayhem which is my derby chibi that they kind of look dumb and cute at the same time uh, the, here is all the template of it. You can order one piece, four piece, or six piece uh, package. And I already uh, counted uh, the four and six piece. They all have a special discount. Uh, six piece, six piece is literally a discount of the discount. <laughs> so if you guys really want like all, you can order six piece twice, which uh, costs you uh, quite a lot. So uh, if again, like I, I, I'm a my friend always uh, give me this hashtag that is Kira, you are the worst businessman I've seen. <laughs> it's literally the hashtag is long as heck. It's just Kira, you are the worst businessman I've seen. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Despite I say all this thing. If you can afford, yes, you can afford this. Don't like use up your last rent payment to support <laughs> to support artists like me like me you know uh, it's it's not like it's not like this this and that or anything like uh, spend your money wisely okay i already make it as low as possible uh with my level and if anyone really do like the things i do and then they want all this like uh wgb artwork that they really want if you can't really afford that to pay for this in this official uh, VGen channel. If I'm ever streaming, you come in and let me know that you want a WGB Mayhem special. You can pay for one piece, uh, uh, pay for the price of one piece. I will draw you one plus three free. So you will get like uh, you just need to pay for fifteen dollar, which after the deduct from like the PayPal or anything like that, you I, I'm basically getting like eleven or like twelve dollar only, and then uh you will get all this a row or a row or a row. You can choose which row you want. You can choose row one. You can choose row two. You can choose row three. Everything have their own like funny things going on there. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All right, let's move along from the ads to the official weekly report. Uh, this week is the 
fresh start of this new month and i already got one art commissions that I already finished and that is uh an oc drawing for uh oc drawing from a well from a viewer that is um a female knight as you guys have seen here let i already have like a short video that time let's make of it let's watch it a very 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 um fascinated drawing for me like for this week because like i drew a lot of armor back in the days but of course i'm a little bit rusty uh if the armor is not really to everyone liking i sorry <laughs> um as you guys already can see like this is the like standard like much more heavier side of armor have like, lots of plating thick plating and lots of concave shape to like deflect arrow this and that stuff like back in the days like a lot of like um armored have like this like very rounded smooth like uh smooth like smithing uh way it's because like they are just going to protect from like cutting force not arrow so what later on like more and more armor have like developed this like very angle like cutting to like prevent like so like to let the arrow slide off of like the main like more vulnerable part of the body and as you already can see like this uh one of the shoulder of the armor side is much more heavy heavier on that side is because it's this type of armor usually is for cavalry unit so when you're riding stuff you need to have more maneuverability you would have uh a small shield and that smaller and lighter uh, much more like manageable shield uh, you would have more area that is like vulnerable and as for being a cavalry you are going to face off with another cavalry uh, either charge or attack stuff like that it's normally are going to be opposite of sword hand something like that so it's best for you to have like the ability to kind of like uh, protect yourself you know uh, more on the particular side that people will attack this is why lots of like jousting they have like those kind of you know like have a piece extra piece of metal just to receive that blunt force those kind of things of course people are not going to always like attack that part they can aim at the other part too i mean like i'm only adding that particular part just to emphasize the characters is a cavalry unit and uh in the oc story like she actually ride a wolf as a Cavalry, uh, being a cavalry unit so it's kind uh, i kind of add that in as a reference for it and that's all and of course i have another slot already like been slotted in, and uh it's another person want me to draw their oc uh, i already received a little bit of the reference image this and that yeah that stuff actually i'm quite excited to draw that kind of things because i love to draw crazy but <laughs> i love to draw crazy persons and for some weird ass reasons uh, if nobody actually knows too much about my uh, drawing history so far, I draw a lot of free art for lots of people uh, at the start of my like VTubing streaming career, and for some reasons, I really like. It's not on purpose, but I've been drawing a lot of people who literally have that evil grin. I, I don't know why, th just the way they smile, like they smirk and smile into it, and then I 
tends to draw people a little bit on like the wider mouth side. So they look like freakishly evil for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like not not freakishly, more like sexy kind of evil or like very charming kind of like evil. The, uh, uh, I I have no idea how that happened, but 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 yeah, I I like this character is basically like um so far uh what I read he's half insane. So yes, yes, <laughs> I'm going to draw him like half insane face. Ooh, ooh. Either way, uh, all right, all right. Uh, enough of talking about this, and I got a special announcement to do. I am going to do a my first ever VTuber debut, and yes, it's going to be landed on the day of sixth of September. Anyone from the US is September sixth, and here's the thing. You guys, even though I know you guys love how you guys arrange a date, anyone from like American, and just be lenient on this one, okay? Please, because I because I forgot all my like when did I actually start you and become a streamer, and then when did I actually start become a VTuber? I don't know the exact date actually, so I do not know when to actually start. To do my like anniversary for like being a streamer or being a VTuber, those kind of things. So I just randomly landed on a date that is like the nicest numbers, sixth of September. If you kind of like write it in like a numerical number form, and yes, it's sixty nine. <laughs> so you guys really need to break your like a rigid rule of using September sixth. Uh, just move it to uh, 6th of September, just for me, just for me, so you can, you can have fun with this thing. I already got like a clothes that is actually quite match up with 69-ish symbol, it's not the sus symbolizations, uh, it can be, uh, it can be rep represent many, many different other things too, not just a noise number, okay? But yeah, I I will have like a new outfit debut out, and most people who watch my stream they might know what kind of outfit it already looks like because I literally do not hide my stuff when I do stuff. And again, I am going to make everything myself, all the debut like prepare this and that, get yeah, the stuff, improve my background, this and that. Uh, maybe might add another stinger uh, for fun too, if possible. So if I have to do all those things on my own, I might have to suspend my uh, art commission thing, uh, you know, for a period amount of time until like the 6th of September, and then after the debut and stuff finished, and then I'll be free again. Um, but doing that, I will uh, when I suspend like most commission stuff means I don't really have any income, and that's the thing. I have some medical issues, so I can't really. Um, it's, it's really difficult for me to get a job, so I just uh, decided not to get a job. Uh, I know it's, uh, it sounds like you're very irresponsible and uh, like it sounds like I didn't really try, but if most people know my situation, then you know it's actually very annoying and actually very difficult. It's, it's a very difficult situation, so um, I'm doing as content creation, being a VTuber, stream when I can, rest and take a break when I can. That is one of the way I can manage my conditions, but also doing that, I look lazy as heck, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys are dealing with the things I'm dealing with, like sooner or later, you'll become lazy like me. I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, Either way, like, let's move along on the sad, sad effect side, okay? 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 So yeah, if anyone want to give me a little bit supporting fee to help me, like, uh, for this month, uh, to, for, uh, like, the more I actually got, like, uh, you know, like, uh, money security for, like, this kind of stuff, the more I will be able to spend time on my anniversary, then, you know? Uh, than like actively doing commission stuff. Heck, if I actually went 
past my goal. Went past my goal. You can, you guys can see this. If I actually went past my goal, I will. Uh, all the additional money I get, I will calculate out and start doing free art for the next client and the next client and the next client. Depends on how many like additional money I get past. I this thing I love to draw, and then I also love to provide artwork to people. There are people who cannot draw properly, and then they have like story ideas, character ideas. And then they really want the ideas and characters to get out from the head. And then I want to draw those things out. But again, I, I, I'm not a working person. So I don't really have any financial support at all. I end up still have to like charge money at the end. But if I really are financially available, I would actually rather do free art for people rather than, you know, rather than charging people. But here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Aside from supporting, spotting me like in this manner, I still got another thing. If you are, if you are a fellow Malaysians, if you are fellow Malaysians, here you go. Ta-da! Yes, I am. I am in a trading card game. Woohoo! But of course, it's not everyone going to be able to get this because this particular uh, trading card game is only will be appearing in Malaysia. So if anyone are going or planning to go or are now they are planning to go because of me, which I'm flattered <laughs> to Malaysia and to this special conventions, uh, I'm not really sure. You can kind of like call it the second biggest or like the one of top five. Uh, biggest conventions that will be held in Malaysia uh, is called Any Manga Key 2024 version of it. So if you guys go into that, you can find a booth for V Dai Show, which is right beside Project Orbit, which is uh, the uh, VTubing agency I'm only affiliated with. It's not it's not being like under their like you know talent. Um, they have this special program. It's called VTube Endorsement Program. I actually managed to join into it, and they basically help out like a lot of VTubers doing this and that and that stuff, and like improve their, um, you know, their ability to stream and like uh, give them a lot more like industry knowledge. And they trying their best. They are legitly are trying their best, which I'm very appreciative of. Improve and expanding the utility that a VTuber can provide to the societies. Yes, to the societies, to game developers. We're doing like a lot of like um, game review feedback, this and that stuff, and like do streaming of those kind of things and help people do various different things. Also, as most people that they might low-key understand that VTuber is a low-key voice actor too, because we because we actually do a lot of like voicing stuff too. Like essentially we are voice actors. So we do, uh, they also like manage to, uh, if can, like I hope like we get more like voice acting stuff too, that, that would be fun. But also like another thing is um, singing too. Like if, if like there's opportunities to make like a group singing for the entire like v, uh, uh, VTuber, uh, VTuber endorsement program people that I, I would, ma I would try to join. I have a very bad singing voice. I want to be there just for the gag and be like, you know, everyone is like singing very good and I'll be like, ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> That would be hilarious. <laughs> like everyone is trying their best to be the best singer as they can. And I'm just horrendous at singing. Like here's the thing, my, uh, one of my friends, like um, Take the Grass, uh, you also can call him Take. Uh, tiggity uh, or tiggity slamity the third <laughs> that he he told uh, when we have uh, some like fun like chat and he talk about this thing um, for some reason he noticed like there's a pattern uh, VTuber do not just gaming of course that they always like need to have like that one skill that support them and so far what he noticed is like either um, you have three three route to go Either A, you go ASMR, B, you go for singing, 3, you go for drawing. I'm the drawing kind. 
and then like some go for the singing kind, some go for the ASMR kind. Like uh, it's just those feel rude. Of course, there's some other uh, of the root that like that attached to it. Some are doing everything at the same time. Um, for me, I, I I'm just drawing. I'm very bad at singing. Very bad at singing. But yeah, 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 yeah. So if you guys ever, ever, ever want to like, um, ever ever want to like support me in a very different way and you are Malaysians and you want a card pack that I'm in it just use the code K1RAY9 also in a way it's called Kiray9 why Kiray9? I have no idea I just randomly add 9 because like uh, my, my name is Kiray so like that, that's a space I have no idea what to do I just go for 9 okay <laughs> I should go for 8 to be honest. Now I just realized, ah, gosh dang it. Because like 8, if you kind of like flip it, it's like the infinite. But sadly, ah, ah, I, now I just like see it. Ah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you really want to support me, you can get a discount, use my code, and then that particular, uh, like additional percentage of earning from that card will go to me. Might not be a lot. But I will really appreciate for you to owning my face in one of your, um, you know, collections. <laughs> that which I will be in there. And of course, I'm going to uh, show you guys uh, the particular like um, promotion video that my card is uh, being like uh, getting out. So here we go. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Kira Baku, and I am your void with a voice, and I just realized I ran out of time! Thank you very much for watching this, and yes, I broke the fourth wall. Like, here's the thing, like, everyone, uh, th there's actually a story behind this entire TCG. I mean, like, law story behind the TCG itself. And everyone practically in there is a clone of the version of them. And I, I really want to like be in canon in my head is like that this particular uh, in that game is is the actual me because I am the void itself. Uh, also, like if you don't know what void is, I'm not the magical kind of void. Uh, the way I kind of like function is more or less like a mm, if you really want to know more about Void, you can go try to watch a clip on Doctor Who uh, explaining about the Void, the David Tennant one, the 11 Doctor. And what's the Void? The space between dimensions. There's all sorts of realities around us, different dimensions, billions of parallel universes all stacked up against each other. The Void is the space in between, containing absolutely nothing. Imagine that, nothing. No light, no dark, no up, no down, no life, no time, without end. My people call it the void, the Eternals call it the howling. But some people call it hell. Eh? 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 Yeah, I'm fan of that. Uh, but, yeah, uh, in a way he explained it is basically is the gap in between the space, time, and dimensions, and different parallel worlds, this and that, yeah, the stuff, you know, like those kind of things. And in a way, if you watch enough Doraemon, I'm the glorified version of that, like, you know, like the the dimension door <laughs> that Doraemon have. <laughs> so this is why my chest is a freaking galaxy itself. Um, it's more or less, it's the entire universe is like within my body. I just like zoom into a particular, uh, particular image only. And yeah, yeah. So, aside from all that, um, I don't really think I have lots of things to talk about. Ah, uh, Yeah, not too much. That will be all of the announcement and uh, the report. Thank you very much for watching and as always, everyone, stay healthy, stay safe. Until next time! Tomorrow! Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow! Will be my like you know i do like a yapping talk show so like basically i will yap about like stuff that happening around like this week uh specifically for content creator for uh vtuber that i personally know so 
If anyone is my friend, they will always give a free shout out. Of course, there will be a particular section for the VEP members, which is like I say, I'm affiliated with the group of like VTuber endorsement program. I will also do diligence to help out a lot of indie VTuber, give them a little bit tiny shout out. If you guys do want a little bit tiny shout out, do put it in the comment sections. And if I notice you, and I will try my best to add you guys in there. So if you really need some shout out, I'll try my best to do it, if, I, if it's possible. Anyway, yes, yeah. Um, not a lot to talk about anymore, so see you guys tomorrow. Bye!